travel's hard for us, for sure. I think this year there's 20 plus tournaments and only three of them will end up being North America. So we actually have probably more jet lag hours than anybody else, considering how many tournaments we attend. Most tournaments fly teams out two days or three days before the tournament starts. But this one, we got here like a day before the tournament started. What you doing? Just take the hug. No, this is the soul. Don't make you feel bad. Don't make you feel bad. You lose track of the world around you. Sometimes people don't know what day of the week it is or what time it is. It's disorienting. Uh, doesn't feel great, but fortunately, I think a lot of us have good coping mechanisms. Bring it in. Right now, our tour party's about to get lit. And then it comes with chunky fries and favorite sauce, that's good. Sure. Yeah. You guys want to go and play pops right now? Yeah. Oh, I know. It's the only way to stay awake. I assume. I'm a jet lag veteran, so it's not that bad. For some reason, now that we have like better flights, I think it affects me more because I tend to sleep a lot on the flight and then I'm not tired when I get here, which is kind of bad. The problem is like, if they're actually sleeping right now, which I'm pretty sure they are, they're going to be so because they're actually like so most of like a decent amount on the plane so he's maybe gonna wake up at like 1 a.m and then what the is he gonna do they they realize they early. Early. yeah it's super early yeah i think they think it's like around night there's very little natural light that we were exposed to just because of the day night cycle of sweden and the time we're here so it's very hard for people to adjust. I had a winter depression. It's like, you go to school, it's the same thing every day. You don't actually see daylight because you go when it's dark and you get out when it's dark. I went down, man. I, I couldn't be, I literally couldn't be in my bed for a week. I was watching Glee in bed for a week and it was... I felt pretty bad. I feel like in Scandinavia they might prescribe Glee as a cure for depression. It was. It, it seems so like they kind of thing. It was, it was a rough, rough week. Being here, it's obviously a special land. It's like the mecca for, for that experience. Sweden is a country where video gaming is like a big part of their culture, right? It doesn't really feel like just some super nerdy computer land, you know? It's so multi-game oriented and just Dota focused, but it's a lot of fun to be here. I'm sure. What time you went to bed yesterday? 5 p.m. <laughs> and what time did you wake up? 2 a.m. This tournament was pretty bad in terms of jet lag. I had a pretty bad sleeping schedule. Artro and I went to bed at like 6 or something, and then we woke up at 2 a.m. And then we were like that big of a day. Yeah. You look so jacked because you have a sweatshirt on your knees. I go to the gym every Sunday. With my girlfriends. How do you think? How do you think I'm gonna get what? Swedish girls? Like, I gotta go like Sindal, this. Sindal, that's what it is. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you're in the front, man. You still here? On this map? Dude, stop! Dude, I actually, I'm not like, doing this without my hat. You look like you can't fool with your hat. Yeah, I'm like crack my neck. Yeah, crack neck. That's what it is. Oh, bro, they already did it. Are you guys ready? Can't do it again. One, two, three, go. Okay. Is this like a business convention? Fortune 500 of Sweden? Just try not to sleep. I don't want to do this, man. You're laughing. <laughs> I don't want to do it either. <laughs> what are we playing now? We're all jet lag. You <laughs> <laughs> my mom. <laughs> I'm getting delirious because there's a slap. Slap out of it, man. Slap out of it.
Can I touch your nose for good luck? No. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting real mad. Play man, like stop. <laughs> get in the room, man. Get in the room. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. You don't get the play. No, you stay in there. Five minutes. Can I come out? No. Two more minutes. We thought that Secret's one of the best teams here, so we uh, really needed to study them. Secret vs EG, how could it be not be a fun series? Fada's on the run inside the trees, getting hit by the avalanche, but 10 points of reactive armor makes this almost impossible for EG. We had a strategy in mind that we wanted to try. We practiced some tiny whisks, not a lot of it, but enough to the point where we thought, you know, this is one of our better strategies. It's a male star, Lord Chris, trying to keep him alive! And he almost gets back the reeler, Kane! It's still not enough time! That is good game, Crip will call it! It just turns out we weren't good with Tiny Wisp, so we ended up scrapping it. They just had a very like strong idea of how they wanted to play, and we didn't really have an answer for it. They can't kill Ace and EG admit defeat as Team Secret 2 are our evil done, geniuses. My... Uh... My focus was just not there. Usually, like when one person's feeling off, it affects the team. We're not historically a very strong day one team. We like to come in and see what people do, and the more games we get to play, and the more we build, the stronger we're going to get. Playing VP was going to be like the true test of like switching play styles a bit. Yo, let me touch your beard, SCG. Yeah, let me touch your nose for good luck, dude. Yeah, let him touch your nose, let me touch your beard. Oh, dude. Why'd you squeeze it? I think only Europeans like licorice. Yeah. Not a sick. Holy Dude, what is this? The first game was a game where we had some complications with our laning stage. I knew that things were not going well <laughs> at the beginning. Awesome, oh, he's very going far up. Very, very far up. Very far will not save him. We persevered and we made a really good adjustment. I think the turning point was when I killed the Weaver mid, he had Aegis, and then we killed him again. He's actually last up here. Oh, can they finish him up? They have the boulder smash into the silence. Ramses. He popped the BKB as well. Oh, he's trying no, to find he laps. Oh, he's already used the BKB. They have the Winter's Curse on him in place. Can they actually kill him? Boulder smash is there. Ramses is trapped. Jump forward with the Dream Cop. That's when I knew we were kind of back in the game. Universe, he finds the Weaver. Still be a five, but GG well played. Oh. Is caught. Wow, what a way that they brought this to the mid and the late. We just brought together like a game that was going to be hard to win to like actually like using communication and talking to each other. And if you want to be one of the best teams in the world, you have to be able to win games that in theory you should lose. I guess we're still VP's kryptonite. Played pretty good that game. After that game, everyone was much more confident in like making calls and like where they stand on the team. We beat VP tool quite convincingly. Crit played a mean, Earth Sprit and a slaughter. Universe played a top tier. A victory is like very much needed for confidence and for the fans. We are going to the signing session, Dream League, to sign for our fans because we appreciate them. Hey, you took my signing If you win one of those games where you're far behind, it gives you like a lot of confidence. I would say the same about the Navi game that we were behind. In that game, it didn't really, never really felt like we were gonna lose. Samel blinks in deep, looks to actually just rip apart the life of Chrysalize, and GG well played. 
side. A game that looked unlosable for Na'Vi is won by evil geniuses. We've been looking to find our identity and find our footing and confidence. Getting to come in and have a big game where we really can show that we are still EG. It's been a while since like we've been on like a winning spree. And you'll be waiting for tomorrow when we finish up this Dream League Major. Riding a pretty big wave of momentum. I felt it. I felt that momentum as well, even against Liquid. In the moment, we thought we have a decent idea. We were pretty confident too, because we, we like two old VP, which is a really good team. Then we two old Navi, which is like coming back and seen. One time, the lead throws the AA old all the way in the base, but it connects on Samael, hiding in the fountain. E Blade pop once more. This game is done. It's over. Not even 20 minutes on the board. It's an ultra kill He's for, for the Miracle. Rampage. He wants it. Give it to him. Arteezy in the corner. It's a rampage for Miracle. And a grand final for Team Liquid while they'll face up against Team Secret. We had a lot of problems like adjusting this patch and finding what works for us. We had some pretty rough scrims and we were still not entirely confident on the way that we wanted to play. I wouldn't say we were one of the best five teams before we started this tournament. Going to sleep and like playing the next day can like break like momentum. We just couldn't we couldn't put it together. But I think they could just like got our number for now, so yeah. I'm not sure if we were prepared to actually beat Secret or Liquid. Those two teams are on another level. It's just gonna take more time, but we'll get there. It's just a start. I love after we lose to see my players angry because they're not happy to settle for third place and a good bit of money and prestige and whatever else we get. To you know, those guys are hungry to win, and we're gonna stay hungry and get some wins this year. I'm absolutely not happy with this result. It's not good enough. We have to change it. 